All right, welcome back to the Forgotten Pieces of Georgia. Today I'm in Clark County on the outskirts of Athens, Georgia, and I found this building behind me. Not sure what it might have been at one time. There's a bunch of old appliances sitting behind the building, so maybe it was an appliance repair at one time. Uh, if you know, please let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see what else we can find. Alright, so the next building I found in Athens, Georgia in Clark County is this one behind me. Not sure what it might have been at one time, but it does have a big for lease sign out by the road, so it's definitely empty now. If you know what it used to be, uh, please let me know in the comments down below, and we'll go ahead and get a shot of this and see what else we can find. Alright, so the next building that I found in Clark County here in Athens, Georgia is this old Sears department store. Uh, now this just goes to show it's not just small businesses that can be affected by different things that cause them to go the way of the dodo bird. Because Sears at one time was a pretty big retail outlet. But as you can see, this one's now abandoned. The windows are all boarded up and everything. So we'll go ahead and get a shot of this and see what else we can find. So now we're in downtown Atlanta, home of the University of Georgia Bulldogs, and uh, we have this big building behind me. Not sure what it might have been at one time. It looks like it's in the process of being gutted and remodeled, uh, so hopefully somebody will be repurposing it in the near future. I apologize for the noise. There's a lot of construction around me, but we'll go ahead and get a shot of this and then see what else we can find in Clark County. The next building I found in Clark County here in the city of Athens is this huge one behind me. I'm not sure what it might have been at one time, but it does have a big for lease sign down on the far end, so it's definitely uh, no longer being used at the moment. There's another one straight across from me. It looks like it's owned by the same company because it has the same kind of for lease banner. So we'll go ahead and get that one next, and then we'll head on out to Winterville and see what else we can find. So this is the next building that I mentioned in the last clip. It's owned by Joel Harbor. Um, they're doing some remodeling work in it right now, so hopefully at some point in the near future it'll be leased out again and something else will be in here and open for business. For now, we'll get a shot of this and then we'll head on out towards Winter Winterville. All right, so the next building I found in Clark County is this one behind me. Not sure what it might have been at one time. If you have information on it, please leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. If you notice, I'm wearing my Aperture Assassin shirt today, which is my primary YouTube channel, doing a little bit of cross promotion. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop by that channel and give it a like, a subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified. For now, we'll get a shot of this and then see what else we can find. On the outskirts of Athens, the next building I found is this one here behind me. It was the Georgia division of the Overhead Door Company, uh, but it looks like it's now uh, empty and abandoned. We'll go ahead and get a shot of this, and then we'll see what else we can find. All right, so now we're in the small uh, city of Winterville, Georgia in Clark County, and I found this building behind me. As you can see from the sign up above, it was a bank at one time many, many years ago. Uh, now it says Victory Business Services Group, uh, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here uh, for the middle of the day on a Tuesday, so I'm not sure if they're still in business or not. If you know anything about the building, please let me know, especially the historical information as far as when it was a bank, and we'll see what So the next building I found in Winterville, Georgia is this one behind me. As you can see, it's quite colorful. It's got a nice mural pointed on, uh, painted on it uh, that indicates that there's a community garden down back. This looks like it might have been an old township building at one time. So we'll go ahead and get a shot of this. If you can share more information about it, please leave a comment down below. All 
All right, so the next building I found in Winterville, Georgia is this one behind me. Uh, many years ago, it was the local railroad depot. It has been remodeled and restored, and it's actually currently used as the mayor's office, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and get a shot of this, and then we'll get one more building to wrap up Clark County. All right, so wrapping up Clark County, still here in Winterville, Georgia. The last building I have is this uh, one here, and according to the, the Methodist Church pastor across the way, which I just talked to a few minutes ago, this one was the local blacksmith shop for quite a long time, uh, which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get a shot of this. This will wrap up uh, Clark County. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when the next video drops, and I will see you next time.